Yeah, it's an absolutely massive uh, collapse of German football, unexpected, unbelievable, really. The German press build already branding it as wie peinlich, how embarrassing. Wir sind raus, we are out. So as you mentioned, Germany for the second World Cup running head out in the group stages. Germany, who are four-time defending champions. Germany, who won the World Cup as recently as 2014. Hansi Flick, the former Bayern Munich man, brought in by the German Federation to be the bridge between the old generation, embodied by Thomas Müller, who hasn't scored a goal at this World Cup, despite being the choice centre-forward. And the new generation of players, Jamal Musiala, for example, who has been absolutely exceptional, but whose end product, just as it did tonight was once again missing. Germany, who will feel hard done by in many ways, but who paid 15 minutes against Japan. That's how tight the margins are in football. They dominated that game against Japan until the uh, Japanese got the equalising goal. They should have been three, four goals up by half-time. They didn't. They then drew against Spain with a late, late Niklas Fulkrug goal. And in this game, again, they hit the post twice. They didn't really start attacking until Costa Rica got an equalising goal. And for three surreal minutes, we actually had a scenario where both Spain and Germany were going to be heading out of the World Cup. But Germany, this game, they could have scored the goals that they needed and they just didn't. It's an absolute collapse of German football. And with the Euro, the next Euro on home soil for Germany, there's a lot of rebuilding to do before then. Thanks, Simon. So much more rebuilding to do. But they do have the likes of Jamal Musiala. But it seemed like he was fighting a lone cause there, Ruben. Yeah, yes and no. I have to admit and, and agree with Simon. I, they easily could have scored 10 tonight. And only Musiala himself, he already could have scored five. It was such an incredible game. If you, if you look back at it with all the opportunities, especially in the last half an hour, they had the Germans. But also, it it's has been such a strange uh, tournament for them. And it's now up to them to finally make those real choices. Uh, Simon told already about uh, Thomas Müller. Maybe uh, Manuel Neuer as well, and they need they need a real la la leader that stands up because that was also why they won in 2014 because there was that real real nice balance between um, new talent between those old leaders and that's what's lacking right now it seems there's no real need for them it seems that they are not the Germans anymore because the Germans they were always <laughs> so strong and just such a machine it, right when it needed they always stood up and that's exactly what they're not doing right now strangely enough.